Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering Skills. In this tutorial, we will learn that how to do a scenario management in a single project. Now, the first question is what is scenario management? For example, if you are analyzing any signal or any road link and you want to analyze different scenarios, different scenarios that means what will happen if you will change the traffic volume? What will happen if you will increase the land width or the number of land itself? What will happen if you will increase the green time signal? So these are the different scenarios that if you want to analyze. Now many people are facing a problem that if they want to analyze the 10 different scenarios, they are building a 10 different models. Actually, you don't need to do that. You can analyze the 10 different scenarios within the same model. Here you can see that I have some links. Okay. And uh, let me show you the traffic volume or inputted values. Okay. Now this is a case of situation flow condition example. And here you can see that I have inputted the volume of 2000, 2000, 2000 for each and every link. Okay. Now let me show you the simulation. Okay. Now I want to change the scenario of this situation. That is by increasing or decreasing the volume, I would like to check what will happen to my road links. So for that, first go to the file, scenario management. Before that, we need to stop the simulation. Go to the file, scenario management, place under scenario management. Yes. Provide a name as per your requirement scenario 1 or if you have identified the different situation you can provide that name also okay here you can see that scenario 1 has been created so this is my scenario 1 that is the original volume that I have inputted as 2000 now for the next scenario click on the add button so scenario 2 will be open double click on that now for that we will change the volume as 1500, 1500, 1500 to first link. Now for the next scenario, for the scenario number 3, I just want to change the volume of 4 and 5 link. Okay. We can press Ctrl S, the scenario 3 will be saved. Right. We forget to has been saved. Okay, so for this different situation, you can analyze and simultaneously you can extract the results as per your requirement. Like uh, in earlier videos, you have seen that how to evaluate a network, uh, how to find the delay, you can create the chart, you can create the Excel sheet, whatever way you would like to analyze them, you can do. Okay, so this is a simple step, but very much effective in a complex problem to analyze the result. I hope you guys like the information provided. Thanks for watching.